This is the end of July update for the Harmonic Fire Pendulum project and this is what we've got so far. I'm sorry I can't show it to you all at once but it's really long. It goes literally from one end of the garage to the other and this is the best perspective I can get. So what have we got? Well the main upper beam is pretty much complete at this point. We've got 16 of the release latches mounted along here. They are pretty much the same design as on the prototype, just scaled up and much beefier. I can now stand on them um, without any problems. They're still spring mounted as before. Now they're going through these nice um, flange mounted bearings to give a really smooth action. Above them we have uh, the release shaft which slides back and forth and pushes on the top of the release latches, letting them drop the pendula and get them swinging. The release shaft um, goes through these roller guides, which are actually just roller skate wheels. Um, there are four little units like this, um, distributed along the, the top of the beam. Um, and it gives a really nice smooth action. I'm really happy with that. And then, to move the shaft itself, at either end we have these giant 13 inch sprockets with number 60 industrial roller chain wrapped around them, with just connected there. Goes up and around, and then it converts to 8th inch cable because I didn't want to pay for that much roller chain. And that goes way down to the other sprocket on the other side. And this means that if you rotate one of these sprockets, the shaft moves. And if you move it so that it's pushing up on all the release latches, they all move out of the way. Thus dropping the pendula, hopefully. Now, of course, this will be about 15 feet in the air once I get the full legs on. So to do that, there'll be a pair of linkage rods going down the leg and down there on the ground there'll be a lever that you can pull which rotates this up here moving the release shaft back and forth and pulling the release latches out of the way so speaking of the full legs those are they six 15 foot legs they will actually be segmented um, for ease of assembly but um, these are just temporary legs that were the cutoffs, which has made this easy to work on. And other than that, let me just dodge over to it. This gap, by the way, is the only way to get from one side of the garage to the other, unless the garage door is open. In case you're wondering why I had left a release latch off, that is why. So over here we have the weights and torches. I have 10 of them made. There's nine of them there, and here's one up here to look at. Um, I should be making the other six this week, but uh, I ran out of the stock for these weights. Um, otherwise, they're all ready to go. Uh, so, the weights are pretty similar to on the prototype. The uh, pendulum rod goes in here, and then these clamp down on there so I can move the weight up and down for fine tuning. And now, this time, I have the torch just um, permanently attached to the end of the weight for simplicity. And this is the Kevlar rope wick, which I'm using about 300 feet of total. Um, this isn't quite done. There's another layer of aluminum flashing that gets wrapped around and that um, moderates the burn to give me the, the burn to give me the time that I want. But other than that, pretty much done. It's very happy to see those all stacked up there. It's kind of a weird virus factory I have going on now, but you know, that's how it is. And yeah, so that's where things stand more or less. Um, I think we're making good progress. I won't deny I'm feeling the time pressure, um, but with a bit under a month left, I think we're going pretty well and I'm not too worried, though don't quote me on it. Uh, more updates later, and I hope to see you on the playa.